This interview was also filmed at the 2022 World of Concrete in Las Vegas. You're about to see multiple tools designed to assist in small batch mixing made by Colomix. You might recall our review video on their Aquix, a tool you're gonna see here as well. Fantastic, here we are with Al from Colomix and he's gonna show us about this. What, what is this? Well, you know what, this, this is called our Lev Mix. And the Lev Mix is designed for floor leveling material. Um, it's a, it's a, a need for a lot of stuff like this. We're renovating older homes or an old warehouse or something like that where you know, the floor is just not as level as it was back in the old days. So the, you know, what's the key feature here? And really, the key feature is the paddle on the inside here. Um, it does two things. One, it mixes from the top down, which reduces air intake, but it also mixes side to side to break up clumps, which can be an issue when you're mixing this type of thing. So when you're using it, you simply uh, start off by adding the water. So if you, you can mix up to three bags here. So add the water for all three bags. Mm. Uh, make sure you hook up your shop vac here so you can pull the dust out when you start pouring the bags in. Uh, we, wanna, we certainly don't want the dust in the air. So start adding the bags as you turn it on. Uh, you run it for about a minute and a half and I turn it off, it burps, uh, and scrape the edges, run it for about another minute and a half, and it's, it's now done. So once That's it's completed, quick. then you have a step release down here. You step, tip, pour, and if you need to, scoot. One of the things I was hearing earlier was, uh, it was described that these hold three bags, which makes it much easier to deal with. You're not some, some of these, some similar models will hold more, but the benefit to having fewer is that there's less weight that you're having to deal with? I, I think it's a couple things, is uh, clearly less weight. Mm -hmm. um, and if you have, uh, some of the others don't have the sort of ergo handle system, so right. to manage that kind of weight is difficult. Um, but the other thing we find, because of the paddle that we have, it does mix faster. Right. And so even though they may have more bags per mix, over the course of time, an afternoon, a day, uh, that we actually are really the same in terms of output, which is, you know, it's a good thing. Okay, now we're here with Al again, and this time we're looking at the Aquix. Uh, this, we've done a video on this before, but why don't you go ahead and tell us about the feature sure. it has. Um, you know, it starts off with, um, the way we think of this as a, as a math equation. You know, you start out with the material that you're gonna mix with, plus water, plus mixing, equals results. And in the past, the mixing part of the equation is what we do here. Um, so if a materials company is called out to the job site and the customer is displeased, you know, sometimes it's really not the material. In fact, most right. of the time it's not the material. It could be that the mixing was done improperly. But also the other key uh, problem can be the water, uh, either too much or not enough. So now Colomix can answer that little issue as well. So the way it works, is we can set this uh, to work in either quarts, gallons, or liters, or to the tenth of that. So uh, right now I believe I have this set at quarts. We'll just double check, QTS, quarts, okay? And so what we'll do here is we'll just uh, do a little demo. So I'm gonna, I have this set at 1.2 quarts. So when I push the go button, the water will come out, it will count down backwards on the screen here, and when it uh, gets down to zero, it will stop automatically. All right, so here we go. Right. So it's counting down, as you can see, and now it's done. For an in-depth review on the Aquix, check out our video in the top right corner where we review it in detail. All right, well, this time, we're going to go ahead and take a look at these larger. These are the TMX? They are. Fantastic. Now, what is the difference between them, aside from size? Um, and just to maybe touch on size briefly, uh, this one, these are concrete mixers. So it's concrete, concrete with aggregate, uh, terrazzo, uh, stuff like that. Thick heavy is, is an easy way to put it. Um, they both have a three arm mixing system, side corner bottom scraper. Uh, but the difference then is this will hold four bags and over here we have five bags. Um, the, the thing we really bring to the party in both cases is enough power to really push that heavy material. So over here we have a 2.7 horsepower motor, but when you have that, you need to use a 20 amp plug. Mm. And the 20 amp plug, instead of you know like this, is one going the other direction. Over here, we, our uh, motor is over three horsepower. 
And so therefore, it's a 230 volt with a 30 amp plug. And a 30 amp is when they're in the round. Uh, right. So again, if you want the horsepower, and sometimes you do with the five bags, you just have to have the, the, the horsepower to pour, the power to push it. Um, the other kind of neat thing here is when you use it, uh, you want to clean it afterwards. And so in order to do that, you need to take the tool out. Yet, just pull it out. There's, there's nothing required. Oh, easy. It's easy to do, and you can pull it right out. There we are. Great. And, I mean, it's pretty easy to just open up here. I mean, yeah, so when you're, when you're finished mixing, leave it run as you were, but then open the trap door here, and it will drop it into a, a wheelbarrow or whatever transport thing you have in right. mind, and, you know, you're, you're ready to go. Uh, yeah. And there's also some safety things built in. So we do have the dust extraction up here, as we have previously. Right. But also, you can't close the lid on your fingers unless you pull out the safety pin. Oh, nice. Yep. Nice. The whole thing is built on basically a hand truck chassis. So, you know, to move it around on the job site, you just move it back onto the big wheels and off you go. Also, there are some small wheels right here so you can roll it into the back of a pickup truck, mm. which is a simple but I think nice feature. Yeah, you don't have to fight with it to push exactly. it into the truck. Great, and it looks like a lot of the things you just mentioned for safety purposes and the uh, opening over here are the same on that one. They are identical in that respect. Really, gotcha. the, the difference is the, uh, the plug and then the, the obviously the size that we okay. do. Okay. So. All right. Now, here we have dual motor mixer. Right. Okay. And a uh, workstation, mm -hmm. looks like. Now, I haven't seen the workstation before, so if you wouldn't mind just walking through both of these, the motor I, and I the workstation. I would be glad to. Um, the dual paddle uh, mixer here is actually one of our better sellers uh, because it, it, in some ways it does two, the two panels do the job of one and it does so therefore it does it faster, mm. does it more thoroughly uh, and it's a little more forgiving for the operator. Um, it if originally was intended for multi-component materials like an epoxy grout, the things that don't want to mix together but you want them to mix together. Right. But beyond that, it just does a better job. Got it's it. as simple as that. So the way it is set up right now, uh, these are color coded and there's a reason. So the, <clears throat> the, the uh, turquoise uh, sh shaft goes into the matching here and the red obviously that way. And so when you do it this way, the paddles mix from the bottom up. You can reverse them and then they mix from the top down. So okay. depending on the material, you have some you know, opportunities there. The, the stand here, and I really uh, need to come up with something better because the stand really doesn't do it justice. Okay. What it really is, is almost like power steering. So it takes the weight off of your hands. If you're mixing a bag or two, you don't need this. But if you're mixing multiple bags, uh, pallets of bags, it gets pretty darn heavy. Right. And so therefore, if you can take the weight off your hands, it helps you move it around the bucket and you're more likely to do a better job. We've got a lot of paddles here. So Al, can you please just walk us through the different uses, different purposes, different materials these are intended for? Sure, absolutely. Um, and that is, I think, a, a common issue for the tradesmen, is they see this variety of paddles and they think, what's this all about? Um, and, and again, I think the vast majority could use this kind of information. So as a, as a little background, there are really only three possible ways you can mix. Bottom up, top down, or side to side. So every paddle out there, is one of those three. Uh, and there are a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, we think what we've done is uh, obviously the, the better way to do these kinds of things. So uh, in, with this style, you can tell pretty much looking at it, it mixes from the bottom up, right? And bottom up mixing is for thick, heavy things. So it's concrete, it's mortar, it's concrete with aggregate, grout, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then we come to side to side. Side to side is generally powdered things, like a joint compound, a tile adhesive, where it starts out as a powder, but then can clump. Oh. And so mixing side to side will break up the clumps. Okay. The, now, as a confession in a way, the most common paddle in the United States is called a mud mixer. And it's basically two big capital letter Ds like this. Right. We don't have that. So what, what's the matter with color mix? Why don't we have that? And the answer is, when that uh, style spins around, it tends to hit the side of the bucket and gouge the bucket and even take little pieces out. Where if you look at the ones we're looking at here, all of them have this ring on the bottom. And the idea of the ring is it allows you to get into the corners of the bucket without beating it up. Right. So in this case, it will perform the same function, 
as the one I just described, but in a way more thoroughly because you have not destroyed the bucket in the process. Yeah, you haven't gotten the plastic bits into the That's right. mixture. And then lastly is this style right here, uh, and this is for liquids. So it could be paint, but epoxy, uh, level, uh, floor leveling, and things like that, where it's thin and flowable. So in this case, it mixes from the top down to reduce air intake and therefore reduces bubbles. Right. So there's some bigger sizes here. That, like, these are almost twice the size. That's correct. And so what that has to do with is uh, our series of, of mixers have a certain size motor. And so we want to have the working end match the strength of the motor. Got it. So our, our better seller is here, uh, the X01. And this size paddle works best with it because of the strength of the motor. Now, the, lastly is not everyone listens to me. And so some people will still use a drill. And so we want to at least provide something for them. Right. Um, our regular uh, paddles here have a 14 millimeter shaft, which translated is 0.52 inch. So it won't fit in a half inch drill. However, these are a 10 millimeter, which is roughly 3 eighths. And so these can be used in a drill. So we have something for everyone. Yeah, OK. So some folks that may not want to switch over to these mixing motors, they want to stick with their drill, they can still go with that. It'll still fit into the drill. That's correct. OK, got it. OK, and then there's also these wonderful diagrams that I just noticed that kind of breaks down what each one's for, the different kind of materials. Yes. So this is, uh, we call this a mixagon. And the idea is that this way the contractor can look for the type of material that he's mixing and then see which style of paddle makes the most sense for that material. So the, yeah, there again, it's a little bit of an educational thing because you know, at the end of the day, the goal is to do the best, best mix possible. Um, and one of those factors is to pick the right paddle. So if we can help him come up with the right choices, so much the better. Yeah, make it easier for them. Right. Great, awesome. Okay, thanks Al. You're welcome.